Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and if you've been around the modded game in Minecraft, you have probably tried to optimize your performance, right? You've tried to get the most frame rate you possibly can. Well, in modern versions of Minecraft, uh, you're going to use better FPS. You used to use FastCraft and things like that, and uh, better FPS is available for at least 1.7.10, but it's all the way up until 1.12.2 as this video, as of this video, and we want to look at how to set the algorithms for it because what it does is it replaces some of the calculation algorithms to get fast math um, and that'll speed up your frame rate. Now it does other things like change the fog and all of that, but guys, you probably didn't know that you can use the download itself, the better FPS jar. All right. And here I'm looking at 1.4.8, the jar itself has an installer and it has a benchmarking test. So all you need to do is once you've downloaded that jar and if you download it by itself, be sure you just get it from CurseForge. That is really the only legitimate site. Do not get it from some of those other sites. They can have viruses and what have you. But if you right click on it, this window is going to come up. That's better FPS. It's going to tell you the version. It'll allow you to install it if and put it in your main Minecraft mods folder here. Um, but this is an instance from the Twitch, Twitch launcher. So I'm using Twitch to manage it. It'll automatically download it into the mods folder and stuff like that. Um, but you could do that or you could extract just the jar itself. Um, but the main thing we're interested in this video is test the algorithms, test the algorithms guys. That is cool. So you get a benchmarking test here included in the jar itself from this window when you open it up. Okay, there's seven different algorithms that come with this. And that's the hard part is knowing which one to choose. But this this ran the first test when we choose the test and you're going to run it more than one time. But you can see that Java math is 2181 milliseconds is how long it took to, to run its test. The Taylor's one was 558 and then we went to 556, 556, 555. So the Rivens algorithm was the fastest one. So it says here, change algorithm to rhythms, Rivens algorithm. So if you click this button, it will change your configuration file for better FPS to this algorithm. But again, as mentioned, you're going to run a, want to run this multiple times so that you can see as an average which one is faster. Okay. Just keep running it, maybe say five times, run it five times. All right. And so here we see in this one, 550, that Rivens is still the fastest. Well, not actually. Rivens full algorithm is the fastest. In this case, Rivens algorithm is 550. So let's benchmark again. A little bit of a different result, a millisecond difference. We're talking, you know, shaving off hairs here, but we are trying to maximize our frame rates. All right, so here we've got Taylor's algorithm being the fastest. So we were, you know, a little bit all over the place. Now, just having done this over time and on my machine, I think that the Rivens half algorithm is the fastest for my particular computer. Now, I'm on a Mac, and uh, I'm using an 8-core Xeon-based processor, uh, you'll be likely using something very different from that. So your algorithms may be better too. Now see, here's the half algorithm. Now again, having run, in, run it over time, I find that's the best for me, this setting. So when I choose that, it will close the window. Then you could close the jar, by the way, on here. There's the information on the version, take you to a downloads page. You can submit bugs, stuff like that. But again, if you just download this by itself, be sure to only get it from CurseForge. All right. So what it does is it'll go through into the config folder for the better FPS, which is a JSON configuration file, and it'll set that up for you. Okay. So it'll tell you the, you can see it says Rivens half. That's what I set it to. And then you could make some of those other settings. You could change them if you wanted from that. So anyway, guys, I hope that is helpful because that is really cool. And you probably didn't know it. I didn't know it for a long, long, long time. I used this and I just kind of tried to look at my frame rates and guess. But anyway, this makes it so much easier to set it up. So I do encourage that 
if you need it, if you want maximum frame rates to use better FPS and to use this test, the benchmarking test, to set it up in the best way. And then uh, you can look at some of the other settings to see if, if you want to do that as far as fog and the beacons and things like that that's in the newest versions but anyway that's going to be it for this video this is scott omato if you like this video please hit that like button guys and stay tuned for more technical type but also we're playing a game here so we're gonna have fun too on this channel so stay around guys by subscribing thanks so much for watching scott omato have a great day bye bye <laughs>